Are gas cars over Ontario? We're seeing more and more people listing electric cars on the platform and more demand from renters. Whether it's for better performance, to save on gas, or to help the environment, people are choosing electric cars in higher and higher numbers. What's more is the sale of new gas cars will be banned in some US states by 2035. But is now the time to list an electric car on Turo? And is demand Demand for gas cars dying. First, I'm going to dig in and look at some data to understand where the market is heading so that we can make an informed decision. After that, I'll give you three great reasons to get an electric vehicle for car sharing, followed by two reasons why listing an electric car on Turo might be a bad idea for you. Before we begin, this video is sponsored by Zebo, a new car sharing app that lets you rent out your electric car, but more on that later. Okay, let's take a look at what the data tells us about EV supply and demand. In July 2022, more than 5% of all new auto sales were electric vehicles. A Bloomberg analyst considered this a tipping point for mass adoption. While 5% may not sound like much, it's proven to be a statistically significant point for other countries' EV adoption rates. If these trends continue, the US is on track for one quarter of all new vehicle sales to be electric by 2025, and that is huge. So in short, more EVs are being built and more people are buying them. Now, one of my amazing community members collected some data from Turo and put together these charts showing both the Los Angeles and San Francisco Turo markets. The number one car listed in each market is an electric vehicle by quantity. In Los Angeles, we can see that a Tesla Model 3 dominates all other makes and models and in San Francisco, in fact, the top four cars listed are all Teslas. That is some pretty compelling evidence that the market is shifting towards host, listing EVs more and more. From a little Turo market research, we can see there is huge demand from renters for EV rentals. Doing a search in different cities across the country, we can see that the sheer number of trips accumulated on EVs is staggering and increasing. In 2015, I listed a Tesla Model S on Turo. At that time, there were only 100 EVs listed all across Turo, which is so crazy to think about now. Now I'm getting ready to purchase another Tesla Model S to host this year. And I used to think that the market was saturated, but after doing market research and tracking Tesla listings in my area, I consistently see that EVs stay booked indicating that the demand is there and increasing from renters. So this is a really important observation. However, although the number of EVs being listed on Turo is increasing every day, when you search on Turo, you do find a huge number of gas cars that I believe still outweighs EVs, but that might just be for now or just the near future. During my research, I found that typically one in every four cars tends to be an EV. While gas cars are not dead for car sharing just yet, the demand is still there. You should be worried and have a game plan for the future because things are changing and they are changing fast. So as a car sharing host, what should you do? Well, here are three reasons choosing an EV as your next car is a smart business decision. And I'll give you two reasons why hosting gas cars could still be a worthwhile business model in the near future. All right, so the number one reason why you should list an EV is because they are efficient and so much easier to maintain. They're efficient because you can literally leverage the technology that's already built into these cars, like remote tracking, locking, unlocking, outward facing cameras, keyless entries, and it's endless. You don't have to worry about installing trackers or third-party devices to help you manage your cars. So your entry point into sharing EVs is just so much easier right off the bat. Then it's no secret that they are so much easier to maintain. For example, with EVs, you don't have to worry about oil changes or engine problems and other mechanical issues related to gas power.
our cars. You can literally anticipate what an EV will need over time, and there are usually no surprise variable expenses, which I think is a huge problem with gas-powered cars. For example, I used to host Corvettes for many years, and they would randomly have all sorts of problems with the engine, the battery, electrical issues, and it just ended up being costly major repairs, and it made it really tough to host cars like that. Whereas with EVs and my Tesla, they are pretty consistent, tried and true, and you know you can expect to change out tires and brakes and maintenance is pretty minimal. Then demand is increasing. If you look on Turo, EVs are accumulating a lot of trips and fast. While hosts in the market continue to list EVs, demand for renters is also increasing, and that's what makes it really exciting. It's no secret that gas prices have been increasing, and renters are beginning to choose renting EVs to save on cost while they travel and rent cars. Demand is getting so strong that there are new car sharing platforms emerging that are all EV focused, like today's sponsor, Zevo, which I had the most amazing experience testing out during my recent trip to Dallas. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm so excited because I'm in Dallas visiting my best friend and I heard of this amazing company called Zevo, which is peer-to-peer -peer car sharing, but for all electric vehicles. And so of course I had to give it a try because I'm always researching, finding out what's going on in the space and it has been a phenomenal experience. What I loved about Zevo is that number one, it's on demand, it's contactless, and you can also rent by the hour, which makes life so much easier. I was able to fly into DFW, get out of the airport, and they have this really neat feature where you can tap to drive. So you literally just open up your reservation, tap the windshield, and you are ready to go for your trip. And obviously look at the car I'm in, a gorgeous, beautiful Tesla Model S Plaid. I mean, this is just the icing on the cake for my Dallas trip and it has been a phenomenal experience. This is definitely a company that I think that you wanna keep an eye on and it's something that I'm gonna be following closely as they expand into other cities. As car sharing hosts, you know, we definitely wanna keep an eye on what other opportunities we might have. And I have to say, it's been a great experience so far. Now you can get more info on Zevo in the description down below. Be sure to check them out. All right, and number three, EVs are the future. Many car brands have already pledged to go all electric in the upcoming years. And pretty soon, gas cars will be phased out and even outlawed. If you have the opportunity to switch now, why not future-proof your business rather than waiting until gas cars are phased out? Next, I'm going to tell you two reasons why buying an electric car for car sharing is maybe a bad idea. Now, number one is if you live in an area where there is no charging infrastructure, and that can be a major issue. The reason for that is because when your renters are renting your EV vehicles, they definitely need a place to go where they can conveniently and easily charge their cars. Now, Tesla, of course, has a fantastic supercharging network, which is spread across the country, but there are still parts of the country that could be a little bit on the outskirts where it is hard to find charging stations that are nearby. And if you don't have a Tesla, then it can be even more challenging if your city has not developed that infrastructure. So while you may be able to charge your car at home, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will be convenient for your guests when they are visiting your local area. So that's where you may have more of an advantage by listing gas cars and where it still might make a whole lot of sense for you. Now, another reason is serve the demand for renters still wanting gas cars. Now, while gas cars are probably not going anywhere for a while, neither is the demand for them. So you might be in a pocket of the country where people really demand those gas cars. Maybe people are really indulging in activities like off-roading or far out road trips into the mountains and in nature where electric vehicles may not be practical again because that charging infrastructure isn't there. So people really prefer those gas powered cars for efficiency, for time saving and being able to just pop by your local gas station and to refuel. 
job. So I think for a lot of hosts on the platform, there is still going to be this ripe opportunity where if you are in those areas where that demand still exists, you can really take advantage by providing those gas powered cars. So are gas cars dead on Turo? While gas cars are certainly on the way out and electric cars offer numerous benefits to hosts, I think gas cars will remain popular on the platform for at least another five years. So what should you do as the car sharing host? Well, if you have a gas car list on Turo, keep listing it. There is no reason to believe that people will stop booking gas cars in the next year or two. But if you're looking to buy a new car for Turo, maybe consider going electric this time. You will have less maintenance issues. They're easier to track. The demand for renters is still very high for that. And finally, if you're in an area where electric cars aren't viable, like away from supercharging stations, you can keep buying gas cars for a little while longer. Once there are chargers in your area, then it might be time to sort of reassess your position as a car sharing host. Personally, I expect to buy a Tesla Model S very soon, which I'm super, super excited for. It's been one of my favorite cars to host on the platform, and I'm going to keep all of you guys updated on that purchase. And if you want to find out the top three most profitable EVs on the Turbo platform, check out this video that I made and it's going to walk you through which cars those are and why they're so profitable. <laughs>